Hey guys, it's Jules here. Um, I'm clearly just out of the shower, but I didn't know when else to make this because I have some exciting news. I am getting my first tattoo tomorrow. Um, sorry, this light is like really, really bright, so I'm going to just readjust. But um, yeah, so I'm getting my first tattoo tomorrow, and I just wanted to tell you guys. Um, to be honest, I didn't really like think about it for like a year because I have been wanting a tattoo for a really long time. Like, I've been searching YouTube videos, looking at pictures on Instagram, like, trying to think, like, what could I possibly get? And then when I was in San Diego, hanging out with my grandma, who's, like, you know, getting pretty old, I was, like, something just happened, like, this situation where... Okay, it's, like, a really long story, but um, my grandpa, which is my mom's dad died before I was born, so I never got to meet him, but my mom idolized him. My grandma, like, love him. They talk about him all the time, and my mom always says, like, oh, like, I wish you could have met my dad. Like, he was such a great person, all this stuff. And I do wish I met him, <clears throat> because that's on the side of my family where, like, I feel like I'm really connected, because they're all 100% Greek, and, like, I just feel, like, my other side of my family, I love them too, of course, but, like, they don't have, like, that strong cultural background. Like, I've always been raised, like, oh, yeah, like, you're Greek. Here's all the Greek people. Here's all the Greek stories. And so I've always, like, really connected with that side of my family. But, okay, that's, like, <laughs> that was kind of a ramble. But, um, anyway, so he used to see um, morning doves every morning, and he would make the noise. They make a sound, like, hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. And they would make the noise, and then he would make the noise back, and, like, that was the kind of thing that he did all the time, and, like, that's just kind of how I remember him growing up, is because my mom probably told me that story, like, six million times. And so, anyways, we were in San Diego, and we were at the house that they lived at when they were younger, which is in Vista, and it was just me, my grandma, and my mom, and we were just, like, hanging out there, and then all of a sudden, we look up, and there was, like, one single morning dove sitting on the wire like looking at us and I was like this is creepy like I don't really believe in all that sort of stuff I guess but it was like it, I felt like it was a sign like I felt like it was like him like reincarnated not even trying to be that deep but like it was just like a signal of like it was us three and then it was like something that reminded us of him but I don't know. I just, like, love my grandma a lot, and I'm sure I would have loved my grandpa, too. And, like, uh, my grandma's a really important person in my life, and she's getting really old. So it just came to me. I was sitting, I was like, you know, like, I really want to get a tattoo for my grandma. Like, not before she dies, but, like, you know, life is precious, so you don't know when anything's going to happen. And, like, I just want to do it now because, I don't know. As I get older, I appreciate her more and more and her presence in my life. But yeah, this wasn't even supposed to be the explaining my tattoo story, but um, so yeah, I came up, it just came to my head, but I just knew, like, if I got a tattoo that was for my grandma and my family, that I couldn't regret it, and even if I do, if other people don't like it, then I'm never gonna regret it, because, I don't know, I think it's just gonna remind me of all, like, the love that we have in our family. Okay, super, super rambling, but... Pretty much I'm getting it on my shoulder and a lot of people when they get their first tattoo they get something small which I guess is reasonable because you don't know what the pain is going to feel like. You don't really know how it's going to heal, how it feels to sleep. That's at least how I feel like I don't know what it's going to feel like. I don't know what it's going to be like to sleep on it, to shower with it, etc, etc. But I'm getting a big one like maybe this big. I have... I actually don't even know how big it's going to be, but it's going to be, like, my entire, um, my entire, like, right here. <laughs> oh, and I guess I didn't tell you what it was. Um, it's going to be a morning dove, um, holding the Greek flag. And, yeah, I just thought that that would be kind of interesting. A lot of people get, like, eagles holding the American flag, but I thought this was, like, my kind of little take on that. And then, like, no one will really have that. And most people will probably not even get it when they see it. Well, I know that they won't get it, but, like, my mom will know immediately when she sees it. She'll get it, and, like, that's what's really important to me, because I think she's going to freak out, because she's not really, like, a tattoo person, but I think if I show her something that means so much to me, and, like, she's going to get it immediately, 
like, what it means and, like, the connections for our family. Like, I think she might be mad for a little bit, but I'm pretty sure she'll be touched by that. But, yeah, so I'm going tomorrow at 4 p.m. on April, April 10th, and I have three hours scheduled, and I'm not trying to make it four. I have no idea what it's going to feel like. I've heard so many varied things, like, feels like an annoying scratch of, like, a sunburn, or, like, n of course it feels like needles, but all my friends with tattoos have been trying to explain it to me, but all I know is that I gotta eat before, stay hydrated, definitely go sober, no smoking, no drinking, no fuck, I don't know, if you guys are getting a tattoo and you think, oh, I'm gonna, like, take a Xanax, don't make me feel good, like, no, just don't, because... One, one of the things about getting a tattoo is that the pain is worth it. Like, that's like kind of like the badge of honor. You feel the pain and then you have something cool to remind you of that. <laughs> and people who are like weak and pussies and can't handle it, they won't have that badge of honor. But anyways, um, I'm going tomorrow. My friend Camilla is coming with me. She might get her septum pierced, but she just wants to watch, which is going to be really nice because honestly, like, I feel like I kind of picked a big project for my first tattoo, and I am a little bit anxious about that, but, you know, I have a really high pain tolerance. I have the most painful piercings you can get, you know, like, well, that's what people assume is the most painful, like, septum, tongue, nipples, like, I don't know. They don't really phase me, but I know it's, like, a different type of pain, but... Yeah, this is the most rambling video ever. I was expecting this to be like one minute long. But um, I just wanted to tell you guys that. And I'll be making a video once it's healed. And I'll explain like how I feel and stuff. And the cost. And maybe I'll probably have to tell the story that I told all over again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm super stoked about that. I'm definitely nervous. Probably tomorrow because like I have two classes. I have a whole day of class before I go get it, so I'm probably going to be nervous and, like, anxious all day, but I'm, like, excited anxious. Like, I can't wait. And I'm really excited to see what the guy drew up, because I just kind of, like, did a rough sketch, and mine was, like, kind of ugly. But the guy's, like, a really good artist. I'm getting it done in Santa Cruz, and the place has really good reviews, and the guy's artwork I really liked. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm super excited. If you guys are getting any tattoos or have any plans, you guys should let me know because I feel like I'm making a big plunge tomorrow, stepping into the tattoo world. I'm clearly super modified with piercings and stuff, and I know my way in and out about piercings, but I actually know little to nothing about getting a tattoo or the healing and stuff. I mean, I've done my research, but I don't have any, like, first-hand knowledge, so tomorrow will be an exciting day. Thanks for hanging on with me with this video. I know it was like super, super long and rambling, but I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you later when I'm tatted. Bye. I love you.